Mm. When you see you are like me, you you are one of those people you <laughs> did competitions. Bona, until, bona. Until I've been. Hey. I met Somizi for the first time in 2001. Yes. Miss S18. I choreographed Miss S18. Yes. Wow. Yes. And she just stood out. She spoke so well. Aww. She was confident. And no, the other country. She didn't win. <laughs> no, she did. Yeah. She Which did is win. a good thing. Yeah. You made it to the top five of Miss S18. Yeah. Then you made it to the top ten of Idols. Yes. And then you made it to yeah. like season six of something else. Uh, or top no, actress. Oh, no. it was season six of Idols. Idols, yes. Sure. But I've done a few pageants before that and I've tried my hand at presenting and you know quite a lot of things So I think I've always wanted to be in the entertainment industry I didn't know exactly what it is. I wanted to do but I knew that I wanted to somehow get in mm. um, And I think God helped me by just giving it to me. No. Yeah. yeah, how did you not give up? Because I remember I did live presenter search and I came second mm. which was very close to winning So mm. there were other people who in my position would have been like, you know what? I tried it didn't work out. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, but I just didn't have that quit in me what was it for you I think I've learned um, from a young age the timing is everything you know just because I didn't win Miss S18 in 2001 I'm grateful it didn't happen because it wasn't the time and I'm grateful I got older mm -hmm. and I'm able to handle what comes with being in the public eye mm. so I just think timing timing is everything and, and, and I've, I've made peace with that so giving up it might just not have been my time so I keep going because the next one might be yeah and you just mm. keep going and going and going mm. sure speaking about it being your time when it is your time it is definitely your time see mm. yeah. Hello, so amazing. Your surname, go to Shati Langit. Yes. So, so, go by the name Muhabi. Bang Muhabi. Yeah, but mm -hmm. my brand name remains Sipogaz. Yes. So, as a suit, Muhabi suit. Mm-hmm. I'm taking a little bit. Rabu wa kotlong. Liring, halibu wa suit. So, halibu wa suit. So, halibu wa suit. When I go back to Muhabi, I will be able to Dijo, how good like a concerting or in Queen? Cupon paid a Dijo, how good like a concerting it like Dija. That's nice. And then Tom Kumber just like a cost. Yes, Puma Puma sent a straight gang. Now tell us, uh, you do, your genre is Afro fusion. Afro fusion. Yes. Now, what has kept you going? Because Afro fusion is a big genre, but mm -hmm. it's not always on the spotlight, on the like, like on top of the of things. Like we don't see it all the time, but we hear it. But it's also always mm -hmm. consistent. Yeah. With you and your sound, what has kept you going, and also what has kept your fans um, uh, loyal to you? I stay true to myself. Mm -hmm. um, I know I need to be relevant all the time, but I stay true to myself. And um, I know people confuse my, my genre mm -hmm. with uh, gospel. When they li listen to the lyrical content, I quote a lot from the scriptures. Okay. And since they know Amatala and other songs that do not quote scriptures, they always think when they listen to other new stuff that I release, it's now gospel. And yet it's not like that. I always release Afrofusion because of the sounds in my music. My sound is Afro, uh, is jazz, gospel, R&B, the sounds that I grew up listening to are part of my music now. Nice.